All right. Let's have a look at the third passage, questions 9 to 12. So this is about marsh lands and marsh birds particularly. Right. It talks about how coastal wetlands, coastal wetlands, they harbor fish, shellfish and wading birds. Right. And then we discuss more about these birds. How these birds are difficult to spot and therefore uh, they are easier to hear because they are hiding in dense grasses. So what people who are researching on them, what they do is they actually use this callback survey to monitor them. So they uh, play a pre-recorded set of calls and then see whether a bird responds to them or not. And then when, when the bird responds, they see from where the sound is coming, from what kind of ecosystem and it measures various characteristics of the birds based on this. Right. Then uh, we talk about a particular kind of bird, clapper rails. Right, a particular kind of marsh birds, clapper rails. We describe them in the passage. Then we talk about where they typically live. They typically live in tidal marshes where there is vegetation to hide in. We also discuss how uh, they, you know, how they prey on their food there, how they survive whenever there is, let's say, some flooding, how they pr protect themselves from predators. What do they do when a storm comes? Right, so we discuss all these factors in this passage. So, uh, an easy read, not a difficult read. Let's have a look at the questions. Question 11, which of the following is not a characteristic of clapper rails? So, again, specifically talking about clapper rails. Clapper rails are difficult to spot because they are skilled in hiding amongst dense grasses. Okay, this was, this. I remember that this was mentioned about marsh birds. We'll check if it was specifically mentioned about clapper rails or not. Clapper rails may prefer to live near still water. Okay, we'll see where still water is mentioned. Clapper rails reside both in salty marshlands and in open mud flats. We'll check where they live. Then clapper rails are natural migratory birds. In question 10, if you come to question 11 after question 10, in question 10, we rejected the option that clapper rails migrate from two areas, Atlantic and Gulf coasts. Right. So, uh, because our paragraph says that they live year round in Atlantic and Gulf coasts. This is what my passage says that they are found year round along the Atlantic and Gulf coasts. This means that they aren't, these clapper rails aren't natural migratory birds. So if you have attempted question 10 correctly, then you, by the time you come to question 11, you will have an inkling that probably this is the answer. This is the answer here. Yet yeah, still, we will verify all of these, uh, whether they are difficult to spot, live near still water and where do they reside. So, marsh birds are adept at hiding in dense grasses. This is given. What about clapper rails? Okay. So, clapper rails typically live in tidal marshes where there is vegetation to hide in, so vegetation to hide in and plenty of fiddler crabs among their frequent foods, right? Also, if you look at this paragraph here, we, they, basically these guys are recording things about uh, the various birds, their nests, etc. So what all do they record? Density of surrounding vegetation and proximity to standing water which provides increased foraging opportunities for rails. So they record data such as nest height, density of surrounding vegetation and proximity to standing water, which provides increased foraging hunting opportunities for clapper rails, right? So yes, they may prefer to live near standing water. Proximity to standing water provides increased hunting opportunities. Okay. Then they uh, will hide in vegetation, they'll hide in grasses. This, this is also true. This part, they typically live in tidal marshes. Whereas our option says that they live in both. Right. So going by what my paragraph says, this also becomes very iffy. Okay. This is fine. They are difficult to spot. They will be difficult to spot, right? If they are skilled in hiding, if they hide amongst dense grasses. Moreover, this is... Uh, while, you know, some students may doubt A also, but it is given about marsh birds in general. So, likely that it is true for clapper rails. I'm not saying 100%, but they also live in dense vegetation. They also hide. So, likely that, you know, this is true for them. Okay. Um, so, may prefer, again, true. 
Clapper rails reside both in salty marshland and in open mudflats. This is an iffy option because my para says that they typically, that means usually, they reside in tidal marshes. But so it all comes down to comparing C with D then, which is the worse option, right? That is our answer. So the opposite of it is stated. The opposite of this is stated in my passage. Okay. Whereas here I say typically, that means usually. So it's better that I mark D and also question 10 helps me here and I end up marking D. Okay. So D Delhi is a preferred answer. 